Alright ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful morning. It's a beautiful morning ladies and gentlemen. Headed to Athens, Georgia. Athens, Georgia. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're going through Monroe. We gotta go through Monroe. We're going through this Loganville right now. I think we're being winded in a few minutes. And uh, I got some interesting things on Winder, Monroe, and Athens, Georgia. <clears throat> it's good to, to know certain things, ladies and gentlemen. It's good to know the um, population. In case you want to move out here to Monroe, in case you want to move in Winder, in case you want to move in Athens, Georgia. The home of the Bulldogs. Go dogs, Athens, Georgia. But um, this, this is a beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful, beautiful day. A day that we have never seen before. And like I always say, watch your attitude, be courteous, be kind. Remember your attitude is revealed through your driving. Your character is revealed through your driving. And I'm on right now, I'm on Highway 78. Going, heading on to Athens,
have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen. Golly, look, man. Lord have mercy, what is that? Oh, man. SUV on a motorcycle. Lord have mercy. Oh, Lord have mercy. SUV in the motorcycle. Gee. Lord have mercy. They got him covered up. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, man, they got the motorcycle guy covered up, man. Damn. Jeez. You hit that car and flipped it, man. Crazy. Damn. See, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people wonder why I be saying be careful. You know, why I be saying, you know, take your time out here on this road not to be rushing. Crazy. Damn, man. You hit that car so hard, the car flipped. And they got a body laying on the ground, covered up. Jeez. Lord have mercy. You gotta take your time, ladies and gentlemen. I know we be in a rush to get to point A to point B. We be rushing. We be, uh, Lord have mercy. trying to get to our destination. We be trying to be on time. I always tell my wife, my sons, and I remind myself, and I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, if you late, you late. Riding real fast and driving real fast is not going to make up the time. If you late, you late. Suffer and take the consequences. Speeding Driving real fast is not gonna get you there. Remember this, ladies and gentlemen. If you late, you are late. Ride real fast ain't gonna help you make up the time. I tell my wife, my sons, I remind me, and I tell everybody who I talk to in the trucking industry, my friends, I remind them, I'm telling you all, worldwide, if you if you late for an appointment, Ladies and gentlemen, you are late. Don't try to, speeding will not help you be on time. You are already late. Take the, take the consequences and ask God to help you next time to be on time. That's the best thing you can do. Trying to speed and get there, it's not gonna get you there. Why? Because you are already late. How you gonna speed up and be, and be on time if you already late? That's a false, that's a false, uh, not what I said. That's a false theory. If you think speeding gonna help you be on time when you already late. That's something wrong with that theology, something wrong with that thinking, something wrong with that kind of mind frame. You already late, but you thinking if I speed, I'm gonna get there on time. No, ladies and gentlemen, you already late. So just take your time and get to work. Take your time and get to your schedule. Take your time and get to your event. Whatever event that you have to be on, and if you late, just raise your hands and say, Lord, thank you. I thank you that I get there in one piece. I thank you I get there safe and sound and help me next time not to be late. Because speeding, just, it's just sad, ladies and gentlemen, that we just saw that accident back there. Somebody dead. That's sad. They left this earth. They left this planet. A motorcycle and an SUV. Lord have mercy. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me let, let me get back into the uh, 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 let me get back into my frame of mind. All right, we in, we going up, we coming up on Winder right now in the city of Winder. The population of Winder is one is sixteen. Is um population of Winder. 16,000 people over here in Wyoming. It's not a big
big town. It's a little small pop. It's a little small, uh, little, little small city. A little small little country town. It's a little small town. It's inside of Georgia called Winder. It's 71.3% white, 18.54% black. Other nationality is 4.34%. And non-Hispanic is 65.6%. Non-Hispanic. So the violent crime over here in Wyander is 10.74%, which is 10.74%, um, which back in 2016 and now 2022 is 31.33% crime. Violent crime. So it went up from 2016 to 2022. Within six years, it went up. In a little small population like this in White, you got property crime 197 reported 2022. 2020, 197 reported. 20 is up 20.61 percent. The average income in Winder is $52,000. That's what they got, the average income. Property rate, poverty rate is 15.7% poverty rate. Uh, the average income is six, uh, the poverty rate is 2,000, the poverty rate is 15.75%. Then um, that's the poverty rate. Average income went up from 52,000 to 65,000. From 2016 to 2022, they got the they got the average income went up to 65,000 dollars, ladies and gentlemen. The poverty rate went down to 17. Point, the poverty rate went up to 17.06. The average house up here in Wayne is 275,500. The average rent, the average rent up here in Wayne is 8, 14 to 1800 dollars a month. That's the average rent. And the population went up, went up from 16,000 to over um, 100 something, over to 100,000, over 100,000 up in white. So the, 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 the population went up. The household income went up. Poverty rate went up from 15.7% to 17.6%. The average house over here in Wayne is 275,500. And the average rent between 14 and $1,800 a month. The average rent over here in Wayne. The population grew over here in Wayne and they, they, they're growing up. They're building a lot of stuff up here in Wayne. So now in Wayne, you got a lot of towns. You got a lot of small towns up here in Wayne, just like any other city. You got a little lot, you got a lot of small towns. Now up here in Monroe, Georgia. Now we're coming up to Monroe. Wind and Monroe is close to each other. <clears throat> the population in Monroe, Georgia, it depends on what area of Monroe, Georgia you're talking about, but the population in Monroe, Georgia is 13,568. It went up from there to close to over 100,000. 54.69% white, 42.24% African American, Native American you got 0.36%, Asian you got 0.04%, and Islanders you got 1.2%, 1.26%, and the other race they got 2.52% of Hispanic, of Hispanic and Latino up here in White and up here in Monroe. 2.52% of Hispanic and Latino. The household income up here in um, Monroe, Georgia is 39,058. The average household income is 39,000. Went from 39,000 to up to 60,000. Poverty ratio up here in Wayne, I mean Monroe, Georgia, is 32.2 percent. Income, income went up from 
37,000 to like 60 something thousand, ladies and gentlemen, income. The rent, the average rent up here in Monroe, Georgia, Monroe, the average rent is 13 to 15.98. Wow, they went that, that's cheap to stay up here in Monroe. The average rent is 13 to 15, 1500 a month. Uh, the average household income, the average house, I mean the average um, home up here is three hundred and one thousand dollars. They got from one fifty to three hundred and one thousand. They're building up over here too, ladies and gentlemen, in Monroe, Georgia. They're building up over here too. They're building up in a lot of places over here in Georgia, ladies and gentlemen, because Georgia is big. Georgia is very huge, and it has little cities and little towns, and it has a lot of countries. All these countries, I mean, all these um, country like, country like, like Monroe, Winder, you know, you got a lot of country out here. <clears throat> farm like, farm like, farmer like, farm like, you know, land out here in um, Georgia. The body crime rate in Monroe, Georgia is 41.6%. The U.S. average rate is 22.7%. So they saying the crime rate out here is higher than the U.S. Um, average rate, the, the average rate in the United States. They got property crime is 88.2 percent up here in Winder in Monroe, Georgia. Prop, property crime is 88.2 percent in Monroe, Georgia. The violent crime in um, in Winder, Georgia, was 10.74 percent to 31.33. 31.36%. The property crime over here in Bumman Winder was 197, which is up 20.16%. So, look like Monroe was pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. Monroe was pretty good. They had the high, they high in the property crime, though. Their property crime is 88.2%. A violent crime is 41.6%. <coughs> but like I say, Monroe, Monroe, Georgia is a little bit wider. A little bit vast than Winder, Georgia. Winder, Georgia is a little small place. But Monroe, Georgia is huge. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bigger than Winder. So I just want to give you some figures, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see about you know, if you want to live in the country, I just gave you some figures. You want to live out here where a lot of land is at, and you want to be away from the um, city life, then I just gave you some figures to think about, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. If you plan on coming out here in Winder, or if you plan on coming out here in Monroe, Georgia, out here in the country life. If you don't want to stay by the city, you got certain people, you know, they don't want to stay by the city. They want to stay out here in the country. They like dealing with all that noise at night. They like looking at bears and lying, you know, and I don't know what that stuff be coming out at night. Oh, uh, man, I got to be able to see. And, you know, out here, they don't have no lights at night. I got to have some lights. I'm a person that need light. <laughs> I got to see. The Bible say God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. So I'm just like my heavenly father. I need to see, I need to have some light. I got to be able to see at night. Out here in Winder and uh, Monroe, you ain't got no lights. <clears throat> so if you out there and you living in the, you living in the house and you ain't got no lights, it's gonna be pitch black, dark. Uh, I can't live like that, ladies and gentlemen. I got to be able to see. <clears throat> Something come up on my porch, I gotta be able to see it. So I'm coming my back, come by my back door. I got to be able to see it. I don't want to wait till I wake up in the morning to see it. I got to see it at night. <laughs> ah, that's how I am, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want no surprises when I go to the door. Walk to the door. I want no surprises. So for all you all who like that country life, like to be out here in the country, <clears throat> I just gave it to you. Now my last one coming up is the city of Athens. The 
city of madness, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna give you that in a few minutes, the city of madness.
in the University of Georgia, they got a lot of towns around them. So that's why they say the crime rate is 81.3%. They ain't want to give out too much statistics. And the average American, and the average uh, poverty rate is 29.93%. They say in the income, the average income out there in Athens, Georgia, is 59, 50, you might well say $60,000 the average income in Athens, Georgia. But like I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, they call it the city of the t college town. They call it college town. Athens, Georgia is known for college town. <coughs> So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I gave you Monroe, I gave you Winder, Monroe, and now I'm giving you Adams. So make your decision if you want to stay here. If your children are coming here for college, get a college education. Crime rate is 81.3%. Poverty rate is 29.93%. The average income is $59,000. My what say $60,000. And the average rent per month is eight fifty six up to fourteen hundred a month over here in Athens, Georgia. I don't think the rent gonna be that high because they're looking at it as college students. They're looking at it as the college, the college town, and it depends on where you stay according to the statistics. If you stay a little bit further from the school, it's gonna be like under thousand dollars a month for rent. The closer you stay to the school, it's going to go up to like $1,300, $1,400 a month for rent. So ladies and gentlemen, like I always say, be courteous, be kind. Remember your attitude is revealing your driving. And remember, drive to arrive alive. And be courteous to one another. And don't be quick to um, run past the light. Don't be quick take off when the light turn green and be courteous to other people ladies and gentlemen just be at peace within yourself through your driving be at peace and know that everything gonna be all right and remember if you're late you're late speeding will not make you on time if you're late you already late just breathe take three deep breaths take your time and drive and arrive alive. Later, ladies and gentlemen, God bless the preacher man, the trucker. All right, later, over and out.